hi there everyone welcome to technoholic in this video we will see how you can update or upgrade the firmware of your motherboard and in this video we will see how we can upgrade gigabyte motherboard we will go step by step first of all we will try to find our motherboard model number then we will find the latest firmware available in the system then we will check for the firmware that we have installed it then we will download it and then we will flash or upgrade our firmware in this system so without ado let's get started so first of all let's find out the motherboard model number in our system it is very easy you just require to press windows button and r so that the run command can open up now here you require to type ms info 32 and then hit enter so this will open up the entire and the detailed system information of your system no matter you are using windows 7 10 11 this command work fine for all major version of windows now here what you require to check is the system model so here we go here i can check my motherboard model number which is z390 ud if i talk about the system manufacturer here i can see it's gigabyte technology in case of msi you may see micro star international return here instead of gigabyte so you require to find these two value which is system manufacturer and system model and now as we can see uh, we got these two values now let me just open our internet browser and let's open edge browser because everybody have edge browser and now here what i require to do is i need to type my motherboard model number so which uh, let me just place them side by side now i will be typing here gigabyte z390 ud drivers or maybe bios and now uh, here we can see this link from gigabyte if you also have gigabyte motherboard um, then i would provide you this direct link in the description down below and uh, you can access it now let me just expand this page because uh, we already find out the model number now here uh, what we need to do is click here on driver os and instead of selecting this all let's select this windows 11 or maybe it really doesn't matter because here we're going to download the bios so um you can easily find it at the end now here one thing you require to keep in mind if there is any red warning just go through that and then um update the driver firmware as i can see here the latest firmware available for my particular motherboard is f10 version and the date when it came was 29th of november 2021 now let me quickly find out which version currently is installed in my motherboard now what we require to do is let's just restore the detailed system information that we haven't quitted we just uh, minimize this and here uh, we require to find the bios version and date here i can see uh, it is f9 and the version update was on 15th october 2019 which i would say is definitely the outdated one so let me just close this and if i see so this particular version is being installed in my system now what i will do i will download the latest firmware so just click on it after this driver got downloaded a flash drive of let's say 8 gigabyte or 15 gigabyte is required also one thing we require to keep in mind do not go for the pen drive greater than 32 gigabyte because sometimes it create problem in detection so now what i will do i will quickly connect my pen drive to my system and here i have already connected my pen drive so i will be just pasting the downloaded file here which i have just downloaded this one now let me just extract this and now what i require to do is i need to shut down my system or i need to press restart 
so that I can go in BIOS mode. Now here I'm going to restart my system. So let me just go here and press restart. And by the way, I have already connected my pen drive here as you can see this one and the system is getting restarted. Now what I will do, I will press delete button while the system gets restarted as you can see here. Delete is the option to go to bio setup or I can also press end button as end will take me directly to the Q flash. Now here we can see we are in our BIOS mode and the thing that we require to set up uh, is Q flash. So we can directly press F8 for that or you can just go down and here you can find it. So it really doesn't matter whether you are in advanced mode or in easy mode. It may look different. The only thing that you require to find is Q flash. So here we can see it is there. Now uh, I will click on Q flash. And now uh, what I will do, I will click here on update BIOS. Now here uh, I need to select the proper drive. For that here on the bottom, let's click here. And from here, I need to select my drive, okay? So I can see here this HP pen drive. So I will be selecting that. This is my pen drive, by the way. And now I will uh, select this folder. And then I will click on this BIOS. Now, I don't know why after selecting my camera is not able to focus on the text but believe me guys it is just the same text now uh, one thing you require to keep in mind before you flash uh, make sure that your system uh, have kind of power backup because uh, if you start this process and by any means if there is blackout in between then it may break your system so you need to keep in mind uh, let's say you do not have ups or power backup just keep in mind perform this activity uh, while uh, you are very certain that light won't go or blackout won't happen now make a double click and here we require to choose this option as yes that we are sure to update the bios and now here we go we can see the files was verified and now i need to click on start button and here we go guys the process of bios firmware got started also on the left hand side we can see the current bios version and the new version that we're going to install now let's wait for a while while we flash our BIOS. And here we go guys. We have successfully uh, flashed our BIOS firmware. Now let me just restart the system and I will let you know the latest firmware. Now uh, I can also pull up my pen drive from here because uh, it's no more needed to be plugged in. Now let's wait and watch. Now after system got restarted, let me just press Windows and R button again and the type same command which was ms info32 and hit enter. And this time again if i go here and check for the bios version and date now here it is showing us the latest bios which is f10 for my particular motherboard so that's how guys you can update or upgrade your bios and this method actually is applicable for any other variant of motherboard so it really doesn't matter whether you have this particular model or another so that's all guys from my side in this video i hope you enjoyed it if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content and i will see you soon in the next video till then take care and bye bye